previously on Fistercom Deliverance. The combatant who emerges victorious from the first round is Black Peter. Okay, okay, Mr. Black. You got the better of me the first time round, but I guarantee this won't happen again. How you may ask? Well, I'm going to deploy the filthiest, stinkiest, most horrid, downright disgusting cheese against you. Uh, what is this cheese called? Well, the technical term is kicking. This bout and the next will look very similar, so I'm going to speed up this one. How can kicking be cheese? Well, it's possibly the most powerful attack in the game. You see, all attack types have a trade-off. For example, jabs are faster but weaker. Swings are stronger but more easily defended against. Clinches have stun and knockback but do almost no damage. What about kicks? Well, it does high damage. Enemies cannot master strike a kick. They can only dodge it. It incredibly also knocks back and stuns, which means you can keep kicking over and over again, provided your enemy is in a corner where he cannot dodge. Now let's show what this kick cheese looks like in normal speed. I'd also like to preface that I'm joining this tournament with only four vitality, so I don't have the stamina to pound through Black Peter. The difference in stamina is so wide that I can expend all my stamina landing punches. But Black Peter, on average, will still have enough to dish out two combos. For other opponents, I can at least deal health damage on the last punch or two when I expend all my stamina. All right. So the strat here is to get him into a corner. I forgot to mention that the other downside about kicking is that you can't kick the face. But because kicks do such high damage, you don't need to kick the face. One other thing to note is that you do not want to kick at max range. Kicks have quite a long reach, but it's easy to dodge if you're too far away. And if your opponents dodge it, your hitbox is elongated and becomes easy to hit. This will then lead to a combo chain unleashed upon you. A Black Peter keeps squirming out of the corners, which makes this match slightly longer than it needs to be. If he just stayed still, I might have shaved off 30 seconds or more in this fight. And I'll try to throw in a few punches to the face where I can. This will help me dump damage all over Black Peter as my legs get ready for the next kick. As much as possible, I want to refresh his stun lock stumbling animation so that he can't make attacks. He still can dodge attacks if I come in at the wrong angle though. And a successful dodge is the worst thing your enemy can do. It frees them from the corner which allows them to perform more dodges. It lets them recover their stamina which recharges their so-called force field and also allows them to make attacks, which you do not want. You never want to give your opponents a chance to make an attack. This has been a nice chain so far. We'll just have to keep this up a little more, and victory will be mine. Oh, damn it. I just had to say something. He's now dodged out of the way. I'm in the middle of an attack animation, which I can't cancel so I can't block. And his vitality is so high that he can instantly recharge and do a combo. Lucky he failed to do a combo here because I backed out of range. Now time to get this back under control. All right, this stumbling type animation after getting punched shows that he's starting to take health damage. Just a few more of these and I'll win. Oh yeah, told you. Told you I beat you, Black Peter. It was a long 40 minute tournament, but we did it. Time to claim my prize. You did it in the end, Henry. No doubt you're well satisfied. And I'm sure you'll be happy with this prize. I certainly am, my lord. Thank you, sir. God be... Now to enjoy the rest of this day. Isn't this game beautiful? Just look at how amazing it looks with ray tracing on. It's a shame that the hardware in 2018 couldn't support this game. Also, they didn't have Kojima's black magic to optimise the hell out of their engine. What? Who goes there? Black Peter? How do you get down here so quickly? Why do you tie a rope there? I don't even have a horse yet. This is day two of me waking up from my coma. Sir, do you mind putting your sword away? Let's talk this out. Or maybe we can make this even and just fist each other. Come on, you don't need that sword. I'm unarmed and unarmored. 
and I see that your sword's slick with some green liquid. Better get that checked out. I don't want to contract anything from your sword. You'll get what for. I really like this wagon, by the way. No idea why armed men do not want to go near it. Probably a superstitious reason behind it. Hey, thanks for putting your sword away. Now let's hug it out. Forgive and forget, right? Whoa, okay, looks like you still have some beef with me. Okay, let's fist it out then. Think again, fucker. Just kidding. I'm not going to fist you. I'm going to grab your head and repeatedly drag my balls across your face. The thudding sound isn't my knee. That's a misconception. It's the sound of my balls swinging into that dude's face. There's a rhythm to it, and I have to keep gyrating my hips to keep it swinging. You may ask, why don't I do this more often? Well, for some reason, I can't do this if the guy has his weapon out. I can only do this against fellow fisters. This testicle move is so much stronger than a kick a lull. Game would be broken if I could do it all the time. All right, you had enough, mate. I'm going to rob you of all your gear for recompense. So, I'm not going to kill him. If you haven't watched the earlier episodes of this series, this is meant to be a merciful run where I will not kill anyone. It's also going to be a virgin run, so I won't be slaying any ladies either. Also, I think I'll remain illiterate as well. Is he just going to keep coming back at me? Maybe I should just leave. Is he chill now? I have so many questions. Like, why does he have such a massive dump truck? And also, is he going to return to the arena since I'm letting him live? Guess he's not chill. Those questions will have to be answered another day. I'm going to leave him here and go on my next adventure.